So today we're going to do something a little different. Look at this poor little plant. This is a lime tree I got, and um, it's not doing so well as you can see. Those leaves are really not looking healthy, and I wanted to know why. And so I looked around a little bit and found a smart plant sensor from Flower Care. So let's take a look at this. So part of comfortable living is having plants in the house. At least I think so. Um, but not everybody has a green thumb. Not everybody's so good with plants. And I really wanted to figure out, is there anything I can do to kind of save my my poor little lime tree? And to be honest, just to help with my other plants. Um, more data is always a good thing. So I picked this up off Amazon for about $30. And um, this is the third one I have. And so far, I've actually seen it start to make a difference some um, plants that i haven't seen bloom in probably a couple of years they're green but they're not blooming have I've, I've been able to figure out that looks like i had some um fertility problems with them the the soil wasn't fertilized enough and i was able to figure that out using this so this is a really 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 simple simple device um of course we've got the flower care instructions uh, you know they're in the box don't really need them to be honest it's that simple to set up so we'll kind of throw these to the side now let's take a look at the device itself. So the device itself is pretty simple. It's just a sensor, right? It's You're just gonna jam it in the soil. So looking into it here, you can see there's a little notch on one side, not on the other. The notch side, we're gonna have to pull that open here. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of effort required to do that. And once you pull it open here, you can see you've got a little watch battery, dime battery inside it, and to get this ready, you just literally pull out the tab like most of these things. We can pull out the uh, battery if we wanted to, but we're not going to. We're going to just grab, there it is. We've got that clear little tab. We pull that out, and it is now up and running and ready for us to discover over in the Flower Care app. I'm not sure if you can see it here, but there is a um, Bluetooth, a little blinker that, that starts to go, a little LED. And that will let you know that you're good to go and your battery is ready. Let's go take a look at the app. So here's the Flower Care app, and it's pretty well done, I must say. Um, I got a couple of plants already in here. Um, we can take a look at a tour of it later, but first let's add in our new Flower Care plant sensor. So we're going to tap on that little plus button. So now your iPad or iPhone will now start scanning, and the device needs to be closed. It's saying within 10 centimeters. I haven't tried it away further than that, but you know, it's I, I can tell you that it does work. It will find it, and then there we go. Connection succeeded, binding flower care. And now that the device binding is successful, we're just cl going to click on the add plant. So you can kind of choose a plant you already have, or you can add a new plant in here. So we're going to do that. And that's where this app is really, really, really cool. Um, they have, according to the website, more than 5,000 plants in their database. So you can go through if you know, if you're really a plant person and know the name of your plant, um, you can go through and pick the specific one, and it'll they have in this database kind of the things you need to care but if you don't know your plant like i'm a plant person but i don't know the names you can go through and they have this really cool um database that lets you kind of be a detective and it says hey what kind of kind of leaves does this guy have well the plant I, I have grows from the ground okay cool so we now know the leaves they grow straight from the ground they're not on a branch and it's um a long leaf so let's pick that one Gonna pick the kinds that you know. What is it? Is it a uh, what does the leaf tip look like? Mine has a sharp tip. Is it a smooth or wavy or serrated? What does the edges of the leaf look like? Mine looks a little wavy. And so now it's filtered down into a list and showed me some pictures of of things that meet my my criteria. So I can go in and I'll say, okay, cool. Well filter plants that meet my needs well it actually looks like the one here on the left which is uh, a uh sensa virina cylindrica so let's go check that against the plant itself so if we go here it is a sensa viaria and look at that it actually got i don't know if it's cylindrica but it's that's pretty cool so if you don't know the name of your plant this app can actually help you figure that out so now we can read a little bit about this plant, read about its characteristics, country of origin, you know, what it likes, all those kinds of things. And once we're done that, we can click on that complete and start to actually get some data here. So let's uh, connect. This will connect over Bluetooth. And the first thing it does is tell us there is an update, which 
you guys know I love this. I love the fact that vendors actually take care of us and update firmware. Firmware is never right on the first try. So I love the fact that they uh, find bugs, they fix bugs, and they give it to us for free. Like, that's awesome. So we'll fast forward through the update. Update's now complete. Wait a couple seconds. We will see that our new plant is now available. And we're now going to connect for Bluetooth. So whenever you go into the app here, it will connect, it will read the data, and it will download it. And now we can see um, I've got not enough light for this plant. The moisture is good. The temperature is good. The fertility is good, which is kind of interesting. So I know these plants don't like a lot of moisture. Uh, at least that's what I've, I've heard according to that little um, thing on the plant. So let's see how much the moisture is. It's 30%. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. So it's it's happy right now. The fertility is is in a, a acceptable range. The sunlight, sunlight is low. It wants um, the number here to be 1,500. And the current temperature. So we've got all these things, which is pretty cool. I can also go in here and go into the growth and track this over time. We're going to get a care index. So obviously, I just added this. So there's not going to be much in there. So let's go back over and look at my poor little lime tree. So we're going to skip past the retrieve data and go right into that growth stage to be able to look at what, what's going on with this guy. So you can see that it will track my the amount of sunlight that this has had today, which is not that much, the moisture. And what I really like is it gives me value ranges of what's good for this plant. So I can be anywhere between 15 to 60% humidity. I'm at 45 right now, so I'm kind of right in the middle. So I'm a good place there. But it makes sure that I don't overwater or underwater or over fertilize or under fertilize or um, over sun or under sun, any of those things. It lets me really track that over time. And I can also do that by looking at the previous day you know, and go back in time to see, hey, if my plants are doing worse or better and, and start making some experiments based on actual data, which is fun. It's it's going to help me educate me as to what the plants like and also give me the data to be able to hopefully have them be healthier. Um, you know, get me some some yummy limes coming off this plant. Honestly, I think the lime tree might be dead. This might just be uh, good good information for the autopsy when we're done. But hopefully it will allow me in the future to do better with some other plants. So for those of you who are a little bit more techie and a little bit more uh, willing to be on the, the science project side, I wanted to show you this. Um, I've actually got this connected to Home Assistant, where I'm tracking this, grabbing time series data out. I can graph it, which is really cool. I can look at it over time. You know, I've got all that data in a database that I can actually get access to and mess around with in Python. Um, as well, because I have the HomeBridge plugin connected onto my Home Assistant, um, I'm also able to expose it in Apple HomeKit. So in home, we get the light sensor. So I get, uh, I can see here that it's at 1400 lux, which is a light measurement, which is pretty cool. You know, per I could potentially have this as a trigger to say, hey, if it's above 2000 lux, you know, it's cool. If it's below 2000, turn on lights. That's kind of fun. I've got a temperature sensor. What I don't get is I don't get the humidity sensor or the soil fertility sensor. So obviously soil fertility is not a measurement in Apple HomeKit and the humidity, Something just isn't matching right between um, the home kit to home bridge to home conversion. Uh, wonderful thing about open source, if I really cared that much, I can go in and help to fix that. I'm not sure I care that much. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please give me that thumbs up. The likes are always great. If you have not subscribed already, please do that. That really does help um, independent video and content makers continue to make this stuff. It does support us a lot, so that would be phenomenal. Thanks. See you guys soon.